Hi, welcome to Ray Purpose Made, home of one-of-a-kind custom furniture. See how I take regular old pieces of wood and turn to something extra special just for you. My background in architecture has taught me how to design and build houses and apartment buildings and mansions, but even though I'm not doing that anymore, I still take the construction principles when I design your desk and beds and shelves <laughs> and tables and everything else. So I rarely ever build small, like teeny tiny. But I wanted to try. This project packs so much of me in such a tiny space. Not only is it all the construction principles that I've known in a mass, but it also is all of the art forms that I do, epoxy, wood burn, hard edge, splatter, all in this little tiny piece. Tiffany's jewelry box. This here is the bottom piece with these pieces going over them. Etc. Etc. I think you get the point. And this is going to be the top piece. It's going to have the lid. I actually made this piece uh, a whole year ago, but it was in that gray time before I did the YouTube channel, and I never got back around to presenting it. So this is the time. So brace yourself. There will be some choppy audio. It was before I got fancy. This jewelry box is for one of my best Shady Judy's, Tiffany. She was here a couple weeks prior buying a bunch of earrings, but didn't get all the earrings she wanted and wanted me to go back and get her some. So when I went back, I was like, why am I gonna actually deliver this, send this to her in a regular envelope when I can just make her a cool ass jewelry box? And that was the inception of the idea to make something that was traditional jewelry box, but also exploding with like more interesting things this is the bottom piece of the jewelry box. The spray paint dried pretty quickly. Uh, you see the tape on it, the tape on the rim, and the tape randomly placed all, all over the piece. This is called Hard Edge Design, where I'm going to paint over it all one color, take the tape off, and it'll be create cool geometrical shapes. This part can always be nerve-wracking. Taking the paint, taking the tape off. Did I mess up somewhere? Is it gonna have streaks? Did the paint go under and now it's gonna be messed up? I used to do spray paint a lot, like the top coat would be spray paint and spray paint is obviously liquid when it goes on and it's um, very unpredictable. And a lot of times the liquid spray paint will go under the tape and then you will have no clean lines like this one obviously has um so that's why hand painting with regular paint is definitely the way to go because you can control it a lot you just have to like press the tape down a little bit and you know that the liquid paint on um, the acrylic paint is not going to go under the way that uh, a spray paint would so i'm loving this this came out perfectly
what an evolution these six tiny raw wood pieces have gone through. You have one piece at the bottom that's gold fully at the bottom and then blue and gold hard edge on the top of that, which is the inside of the box. Uh, the top piece is fully decked out with green and gold epoxy on one side and the other side has this giant craggy uh, mirror with blue and blue hard edge on that side. The two side pieces have wood burn with little specks of green on the outer side and specks of blue on the inside. Uh, the other two pieces, which are, I guess, the most plain pieces, are just blue on two of the sides, green on the other two sides. I really love going back to this project because it reminded me of how much work I did and the decisions that I made at the different areas of the jury box. It also reminded me why I didn't do the YouTube for this because it was so many steps. When I make a giant room or a room divider or a loft bed, there is a lot of work there, but there's probably like 10, 15 steps to get everything done. This project, literally 55 steps to get from like the raw wood to the very end and I just kept on adding art to it. Um, I painted around the rim of the mirror. I made like little metallic hard edge pieces to the inside of the blue. I just kept, kept going. It was fun and I loved it, but it's a definitely a different type of documentation when it comes to like these tiny, tiny little artistic design choices opposed to something much more large and then all the reasons and the ideas are a lot more apparent. So it was cool like getting back into my own mind and seeing what I did for this project because it was so fun. And I love, 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 love the end result. And this is what goes inside the jury box. really like that I added that green a little bit to the inside so that when it's closed you can't see any blue peeking out. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you want to see more. If you click on that little bell on the bottom, you will be notified every Wednesday when I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thanks for watching.